okay I guess you see my glucose is still not where I want it to be hey nowhere near where it needs to be um, actually like I always said for the past couple of months I have no problem going back on meds and actually uh, I am going to do that probably within the next three or four weeks that is going to happen unless something miraculous happened uh, what have you and um, like I said I was on meds back in when I was first diagnosed I forgot when that was 2012 13 anyway I was on meds for about 80 90 days got things under control and been that way until now um, so I am going to do, do the bad things on um, what have you and actually this dovetails right into my quote for today but before I get to my quote if you haven't done so already don't forget to like subscribe and ring the notification bell uh, that will really help me out I also help you to recommend my video to others all right my inspirational quote for today it is you can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending hey that is uh, so true um, especially on this um, healthy lifestyle kick for me it's all about changing the ending uh, hey you know I call myself saving my foot that's what my channel is saving my foot for me the ending is no amputation Fortunately, in the African American community uh, with diabetes, a lot of folks um, have amputations, whether it's toes, um, their feet, um, blindness, a lot of the bad side effects from diabetes, are, unfortunately, is higher in the um, African American community. And for me, that's an ending I do not want. That's why I call my channel Saving My Foot. So hey, like the quote said, I can't go back to the, to the beginning, to the beginning and change that. But I can change the ending. And so that's what I do, that's what I'm doing, and that's what my vlog is all about, a hey, having a healthy lifestyle to change my ending. All right? Okay, I'm making a quick run this morning. We're going to go on to the next step, but I'm making a quick run. I'm going to get some bacon. Yes, I'm going to cook breakfast. I'm going to do that uh, today. That's going to be my eat healthy, low carb uh, meal today. Um, it's going to be a breakfast thing, so the next step will be me cooking breakfast. All right? I guess this is where I say on to the next stop. <laughs> Okay, hey, like I said in the car when I went at the bacon, I'm going to fix um, breakfast today. Actually, I'm doing it outside on my grill here, my Camp Chef grill. I want to use the griddle. I don't want to use the electric griddle. I want to use my outdoor griddle that's powered by gas. And actually, what I'm going to fix, I think, is a breakfast quesadilla. I saw someone do this on Instagram. I said, hey, this looks easy enough, right? <laughs> Not too many steps. I should be able to do this without burning down the house. Hey, this is probably why uh, I decided to come outside. Even though it's cold out here today, I'm gonna do it outside um, just in case if I have a faux pas. <laughs> hey, I'm not in the house with the faux pas. I'm, I'm outside and um, the water hose is nearby. I can put the fire out. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to try this um, breakfast quesadilla. I'm going to give it a shot. All right, here I go. Okay, I finish. Actually, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look as good as the Instagram one I saw, but hey, like I said, I really can't cook. I just follow directions. And this guy, he had directions, but I just followed his video. <laughs> 
be honest. <laughs> so let's see how it tastes. I did make some boo-boos. I made some mistakes, but it's all good. I will say there's this one thing um, I noticed. Trying to cook and videotape at the same time, it makes the process so much longer. I don't see how um, some of the YouTubers, that's all they do. Hey, hats off to them. <laughs> all right, let me give it a shot. Cheesy. Actually, it tastes real good. I would definitely do it again, but I won't do it for video, like I said, just trying to tape it and, um, and do it. It just takes a lot, but I would definitely do this again. I'll probably use um, butter on this, what you call it? On this tortilla here. I'll probably put some butter on it or something. But no, it's good. It's real good. All right, on to the next stop. Okay, my get off the couch today is I'm going to replace this receptacle here. Actually, a couple of days ago, I smelled something um, burning back here. And this is what it was. It had this little... I get you this little three prong, three prong extender here, uh, outlet, whatever you want to call, call it, and it was plugged into here. You see, that's burned there. And actually, what was causing it all? <laughs> hey, it's cold, right? <laughs> so what was causing it all was this um, little space heater, one of these ceramic space heaters. I don't know if you can see it well, but I see some people do this. Let me see, does this work? <laughs> anyway, the plug is burned. And that was that was actually plugged into, into here. And it really should have just been plugged in the other outlet down at the bottom. So in any case, um, this wasn't my original plan. But I just noticed it um, today. So this is my get off the couch. I went to Lowe's. This outlet was a couple of dollars call the electrician to come out you know they basically going to charge you buck 25 <laughs> that's 125 um just to come out so 125 and they'll probably charge ten dollars for the receptacle i'm at 130 dollars like i said this only costs a couple of bucks uh, um to do or i could have called uh, mr willie you know everybody knows mr willie he would have came out here and done it for a 20 spot but there's no guarantee when Mr. Willie's coming out. Then not only is he going to want that 20 spot when he comes, a six pack of beer. So you run a risk there. Like I said, you don't know when he's coming out. Then when he does come out, maybe he had another customer or so that he did where he got a 20 spot and a six pack of beer. And by the time he got to you, three of those beers are gone. So do I really want Mr. Willie working on my electric? After he has consumed three to six beers <laughs> and showing up unexpected. So, hey, I do this myself. It's something I'm relatively easy to do. Um, I've done this before. But, of course, I went to YouTube. Uh, when I did it before, there wasn't a YouTube. So, of course, I went to YouTube just to make sure I remember how to do it. All right, so the first thing you really need to do, the most important thing you need to do, particularly for me, I'm not an electrician. I don't fool around with the electric. The most I do, this is the most I do, replace an outlet or replace a switch. But the most important thing is to turn off power uh, to this switch here. Got it? All right, so let's go turn the power off. But before I turn it off, let me show you that it does work, that is on. So then when I come back, I can show you that the power is off. Okay, I got a little lamp here. I'm just going to plug it in to the bottom. Ah, let there be light. See, the, this does work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this plugged up with the light on. So when I come back, this light should be off <laughs> if I got the power right. All right, I'm going to check you along with me as I go to the, um, the circuit breaker. Okay, I'm here at the circuit breaker. And 
let me here I think this is the one right here that should have it if all goes well the light should be off okay I'm back I did do it and you see the light here is off hey to be doubly safe to make sure the bulb didn't burn out during that minute it took me to go turn the light off I plugged this into another outlet that that was working and it came on so I know the power's off right here. Okay, all you need for this job, a flathead screwdriver, Phillips, pair pliers, and a wire, and a wire, and a wire cutter. Well, actually, a wire stripper. All right, here I go. Okay, the first thing is to get the face plate off. And then you take the plug off by removing those two screws. And after that, you need to take the wires off the existing plug. And what I did, I just snipped the existing wires off. Now I need to strip the, um, the rubber off the wire to expose it so I can connect it to the screws on the side. The thing you have to remember is, Hot is on one side and the neutral wires on the other side. Hey, once I got that all done, I put it back in and put the face plate on. Okay, I'm back down here to turn the circuit breaker back on. Hey, that's a good sign it didn't flip back, so let's go check it. Okay, the light is back on, so success. Now, I'm going to throw away that old plug and that space heater. All right, I got it all in the trash. I finished. Hey, I've been doing these, these um, YouTube videos now for about, what, four years? You would think by now, I, will, I would remember to charge my battery, delete my uh, memory card clean, and my camera, what I was filming me replacing the receptacle actually the uh, memory card filled up on me so I had to re revert to my phone <laughs> oh reliable anyway anyway that is it hey don't forget to like share comment and subscribe